to display different devices that are available. So what we'll do is uh, when I click on that button, I'll uh, set the number of devices equal to uh, T Capture Device Manager uh, current and then get the count. So of the current device manager that I have, uh, get the count of the number of devices, and then we'll set a label to be the number of those devices. And then we'll iterate through the number of devices to display. So here's I'll get uh, device manager current devices uh, indexed by I, get the name. I'll also get the media type. Is it audio or video? And also get the state of the current device, whether it's of the audio or video device. So that's pretty straightforward. You can iterate and see, and we might have multiple audio devices. So let's just run this one on Windows first and see what we've got for devices. And here's the devices. It turns out there's just a microphone, plug-in microphone that's available on Windows. But let's go to the Macintosh and we'll run this example. There it comes, it's over here. We'll call get devices. And this actually uh, finds multiple devices. There they are. So it's got, uh, let's see, four different audio devices. Uh, Sunflower 2 and 16 channel I've got installed. The built-in input, which is built into the case, and a microphone input. And here's the camera, uh, this uh, built-in eyesight. You can get all the devices and then decide in your application which devices, audio and video, you want to use. If that, let's run this now on the Samsung Slate, and we'll see that it's got two cameras. So let's just click on Get Device. And so it's got a couple microphones, inputs, uh, line input, and it's got two cameras, uh, an SC, and it's got these big numbers. It doesn't say forward and backward facing or front facing or rear. It's just got the two of them here. Uh, and again, audio types and, uh, and video types.